What's up YouTube, I'm Cool you. Can you guys one of the more interesting recent deck profiles? Andy Witt got second place at Chicago this past weekend with Nurse Burn. Now, if you guys don't know, Nurse Reficules are a million dollars a piece at the moment. No, they're like 30, 35. Uh, so to those of you that want to build this deck, um, it's up to you if you want to drop that much on Nurses. A lot of the budget players are going to complain about that. I mean, Chain Burn is a pretty budget deck for what it is, uh, but this deck is just getting more and more expensive as time is going on without, with the Nurse not getting any reprints in the near future. So, uh, let's dig into this. Uh, it's basic Nurse Burn. Uh, the more interesting thing, though, I'd like to point out is he is playing two Nurse and only two Bad Reaction, and instead he's playing double Life Equalizer. Uh, life Equalizer allows him to make a pretty major difference depending on what he's playing against. Um, do keep in mind that when there's a difference of 8,000 life points, both players' life points become 3,000. So, two Lava Golem, one Snipe Hunter, two Nurse Refi Kill, pretty standard. Uh, triple Karkar D, triple Swift Scarecrow. His spells, one Day of Peace, triple Upstart, two Duality, and two MST. Do keep in mind he is not playing Soul Taker. I know a lot of players like to find fault with this. Uh, but the reason that he is choosing to opt out of this uh, kind of makes sense. His deck is, he doesn't care what monsters his opponent has on the board. I mean, yeah, 3,000 life point burn is what it is, but um, outside of that, he's really not worried about anything. Uh, two life equalizer, like I discussed before. Uh, triple threatening roar. Triple reckless greed. Triple gift card. Uh, true, two trying guess. Uh, basically, you can declare one kind of extra deck monster, fusion, and synchro, x, y, z, reveal both players' extra decks, and the player who has more monsters of the declared kind in their extra deck gains 3,000 light points. So basically, you play with 15 fusions, uh, and you just br give your opponent 3,000 light points, or whatnot. It, it's kind of funny, or depending on how you want to do it. Uh, two Trap of Darkness, activate only... When your light points are 3,000 or less, select a normal trap card in your graveyard. This card's effect is the same as that trap card's, and remove from play that normal trap card. Really broken for what you can do in this deck. Uh, triple Hope for Escape. Activate only if your light points are at least 1,000 higher than, or your opponent's light points are 1,000 higher than yours. Pay 1,000 light points to draw one card for every two light points difference between you and your opponent. Broken! Uh, one Wall of Revealing Light. Uh, blow out all of your light points, basically. Uh, make sure your opponent can't attack, and then double bad reaction to Samochi. Uh, his extra deck is basically 15 fusions, uh, anything that you want. Uh, at least include Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon as a one of. Uh, his side, triple maxi, two twister, two messenger of peace, one dimensional fissure, two full house, one soul drain, two skill drain, and two rivalry brings us to a close on this deck. So guys, give Andy's deck a try, um, have some fun with it, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, Mcole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.